Boots. Well, today was media day at the Indianapolis Motor Speedway, and it was an opportunity to get an update on all the changes coming as part of Project 100. Our TV6's Michael Grady has more. Michael. Thank you, Todd and Erica. Yes, changes indeed. We're just under 100 days away from the month of May, and workers are furiously updating certain areas of the Indianapolis Motor Speedway as part of Project 100. We've seen quite a few changes in the past few years. The pylon, the high-definition video boards, and there is still $92 million worth of changes on the way. Under construction now is a new roof structure over paddock penthouses B and A. The roof structure is about 17 feet taller than the previous structure, E Penthouse is going to receive stadium style seating. There will be a new decking area to allow fans with wheelchairs and a companion a spot to sit comfortably. The project will add about a thousand seats to the speedway. And the track fence has been replaced with a new mesh. It's quite the undertaking. And if you're worried about the IMS losing a bit of history with these changes, the speedway staff insists they have not lost sight of tradition. Well, the biggest challenge is balancing what makes us special, which is the history and the tradition of the Indianapolis Motor Speedway. And, and I've often said that if Wrigley Field decided to leave the grass and tear down the stadium and build a new stadium around it, it's no longer Wrigley Field. And I think we're in the same situation here at the Indianapolis Motor Speedway. We could have decided to tear down the entire front stretch and build new grandstands. But that's the biggest issue is how do you balance that experience? Because what makes us special is our history and tradition. It's going to look great, but what we're going to have on the outside of this, there's still a lot to do. It's a mile long by a half mile wide and you know, 235,000 seats or whatever it is in the, in, the, in the venue. But that's what's exciting about this. This is the start to making sure that this jewel that we all so love so much is maintained for the next 75 years. All right, the construction is nice, but fans really want to know, will it be any easier getting into the track in May? Long lines have been a common complaint for years. Well, they're continuing to work on plans to improve entry into the speedway. More details on that is expected soon. Michael Grady, RTV6 Sports.